Hello and welcome to the lecture that will prepare you for class. It's important that you view this before class so that we can learn more together in class. After you view this video, you'll be able to compute the total fair market value of stock options, record the annual expense, and record the exercise of stock options. You will also understand the information that is presented in the footnotes for stock options. The total value of stock options and the annual expense is determined on the grant date. These values are not adjusted for changes in fair market value after the grant date. The company determines the value of one stock option using a quant model, such as the Black-Scholes model, that considers the price of the stock, the historical changes of stock, dividends, current interest rates, and other factors. You will not be expected to determine the fair market value of a stock option in this class, and it will always be given to you. You will take the fair market value of the option and multiply it by the total number of options granted to determine the total value of stock options granted. The total value will be divided by the vesting period to get the expense that is recorded each year. For instance, one-fifth of the total value will be expensed each year when the vesting period is five years. We'll continue our explanation of stock options using an example with numbers. Bright Company granted 100,000 employee stock options to purchase $1 par common stock at an exercise price of $10. This means that after working for five years, the employee will be able to buy the stock from the company for $10. The fair market value of the stock option on the date of grant is $4. The employees must work five years to earn the right to purchase the common stock. The fair market value of one stock option, and it's important that this is not the common stock, it's the stock option, is $4. This is multiplied by the total options granted to get the total fair market value granted to employees. The total value, value granted is spread over the vesting period the employees work to earn the options. $80,000 will be expensed each year. No journal entry is recorded on the grant date. The expense is recorded over the time employees work to earn the options and not when they are granted. One year's expense is recorded to compensation expense. Stock option expense or stock compensation expense are accounts that are also used. The stock option is equity and an equity account is used to record the stock option. A liability account is not used because the company will not pay the employee in cash. The company will compensate the employee with equity. Paid in capital options indicates that the company has a potential obligation to issue stock to the employee. The entry to record compensation expense is recorded at the end of each period the employee works to earn the options. There are two entries made to record transactions related to employee stock options. The first entry is to record the annual compensation expense. The second entry is made when the employee exercises their right to purchase common stock. The employee trades their right to purchase common stock and cash for common stock. The employee pays the company cash for the total exercise price. The company receives the cash and removes the obligation to re provide common stock to the employee and records the issuance of the common stock sold to employees. Issuing common stock requires the same credit to common stock and paid in capital you recorded in the stockholders equity section of this course. Common stock is always recorded at par times the number of shares and paid in capital is always a plug. Take a moment and read the items that are required to be disclosed in the footnotes. The number of options outstanding is very important. This represents more potential common stock shares that will dilute EPS and the ownership of current owners. The fair market value of options granted is also important because it determines the expense that is reported on the income statement. JCPenney's footnote shows the activity related to stock options during the current year. The key pieces are the number of options granted, the number of options exercised, and the number of options outstanding at the end of the year. Forfeitures are options that are canceled because the employee terminated their employment before the vesting period was completed and did not earn the right to purchase stock from the company. 
The weighted average remaining contractual term is the amount of time employees can wait until they exercise their option and purchase stock. Options generally have a vesting period and then a time after they are earned until they expire and can no longer be exercised. The intrinsic value is the gain employees would earn on each share of stock purchased. It is the difference in the exercise price and the current market value of JCPenney stock. We will look at the other parts of the footnotes in class. Please make sure you filled out the prepared for class sheets before you finish your studying. Also take some time to work through the practices you learn in the easy test on studymyaccounting.com to practice what you have learned. Thank you for being prepared for class. It is very much appreciated.